There are not enough Māori or Indigenous people studying or working in science. Why is that? Māori treasure our natural environment, so it's not a lack of interest or love for nature. Māori have a gift for the personification of nature, and this is an emotional connection that is based on values and connectiveness via whakapapa and group identity. Kaitiakitanga is the physical presentation of this connection and is the basis of our sense of belonging and values. Unlike science-based systems, Matauranga Māori depict ecosystems not as mechanical quantitative machines, but rather infused with spirit and life force, Māori. Western mainstream culture focuses on the self. I think, therefore I am, individualism. This is opposed to Māori tanga, where the focus is on belonging. I belong, therefore I am. I'm defined by the people and my surroundings. Belonging is not an abstract thought, but an emotional connection that gets stuff done, such as kaitiakitanga. It's a challenge, a responsibility. Science without values or emotional attachment is a reflection of our lack of connection. A scientist once said to me that there was only atoms and space. The rest is opinion. Well, according to Matauranga Māori, in between atoms and space is Modi, the breath of life. Where do we stand? Where do we belong? We need Matauranga Māori to help us emotionally connect to our surroundings. We need Matauranga Māori to arouse slumbering scientists as well as aspiring scientists to an awareness that regardless of our discipline, we do indeed have social responsibilities. For instance, the indigenous peoples of the Arctic and Polynesia have contributed the least to global warming, yet they are the most affected at this very time. But without people power, without community support, this will not happen fast enough. Science can be a slumbering beast. We are all at this very moment watching Maui dolphin go extinct during our time and on our watch. Population estimates suggest that we are but decades away from losing this unique taonga species forever. And as a New Zealander, this hurts and it should. Scientists have failed to express the importance and the value of Maui dolphin to the wider community. We have failed to express the shame, the whakamā and the loss that will be felt by Māoridom when this unique species falls with the rest of our extinct taonga species. Understanding Māori knowledge and cultural norms is essential for scientists in New Zealand if we are to learn from and build effective working relationships with Māori dham. Matauranga Māori cannot enter the lecture room unless it has first entered the consciousness of the lecturer. The power dynamics that exist within educational and research relationships change when collaborations are formed between researchers and indigenous peoples. Collaboration is about sharing with and learning from one another. A concept known as ako ako. We need Māori dham to step up and teach us how to connect in a meaningful way, how to belong, how to be united as one. Ko tahi tonga. Cultural safety in science is a hurdle we're overcoming slowly. In the last few years, we have become much more aware of the culturally complex issues surrounding working with animals, incorporating tikanga, or Māori protocols into our biology labs has created spiritually safe environments and opportunities to engage with indigenous peoples in science. Māori need to engage their traditional matauranga Māori more to communicate their values to scientists. And scientists need to engage their values more to communicate their science to Māori them. The new result will be nothing less than unity. And remember, unity is the mother of all sustainability. It takes a university to educate a scientist but it takes a community to grow a scientist. And community support is our measure of importance. Matauranga Māori highlights the importance of understanding the interrelated connectiveness between people, the things we do and our values. It accentuates the importance of valuing people and all life and protects us all by stressing the importance of ensuring that emerging ideas and technology are not created at the expense of First Nation peoples or the natural world. So, how do we foster Indigenous knowledge to attain sustainability in science? Well firstly, we provide opportunities for Indigenous people to contribute to the decision-making process. We acknowledge the value and the integrity of Indigenous knowledge. Secondly, we consider ways to foster Indigenous people's capacity to contribute via education and support services. And finally, we provide relevant information to Indigenous people for that purpose. I'm now going to end with a short taupara para. 
or traditional poem about connecting with nature and being alive. Manawa mai te mauri nuku, manawa mai te mauri rangi, ko te mauri kaiau he mauri tipua, ka pakaru mai te po, tau mai te mauri, homi e, hui e, taiki e. Kia ora.